Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Hey guys, it's your boy ECEO, man. Check it, man. It's the recap. So here we are again, man, this week, man. But first of all, let me tell you, man, uh, Boss Talk 101, man, I always say it's a thing, man. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, also, make sure you uh, check out uh, uh, Boss Talk Podcast 101 Instagram. Make sure you guys go follow that as well. And make sure that you follow me, man, E underscore CEO underscore on Instagram. Uh, check it, man. Hey, man, so this week, man, was dope, man. We had... Uh, Man, we had Lil Brook, man. Lil Brook was formerly uh, uh, signed to Def Jam, and we just wanted to sit down with a man. Real dope, man. We we talked to her about Water Two Live, man. R.I.P. Water Two Live. Uh, she, you know, she rocks with Two Fo, uh, and I just want to say, man, that girl was dope, man. She had a lot to to say about Def Jam, um, you know, far as how that thing ended. Are, are you still signed to Def Jam or no? Nah, I haven't been signed to Def Jam in a year. Okay, so what happened? I mean, because it seemed like when I looked, at, start researching you, um, it seemed like it was a like a, a, a time where you just kind of fell back. Yeah, but with Def Jam, it was more like a little like we were signed individually, but they wanted to keep doing like Molly and Brooke, and like we our own person. Like I want to do Brooke, and she could do Molly, but we not we not no group or nothing. But that's what they wanted to do, so. Shit, like they was just making too many rules, like trying to tell you what to do. So they weren't doing nothing. I wasn't doing nothing. So they didn't have no choice. Tell me, me tell me how you guys uh, end up uh, connecting with Def Jam. Uh, I had posted a video on Twitter, a live video, and it had blew. It had got a million views, and then an A and R had hit me. She she also spoke on uh, you know her management. She this just was a real dope energy, man. So when you look at what comes along with with with, with getting a deal and. And, and dealing with that whole world, man. Hey, man, shout out to her for even being able to handle that, being able to deal with that, man, because I probably would have tapped out way before she did anyway. But, hey, that's neither here nor there, man. Let's uh, let's also just uh, talk about uh, Charleston White, man. Charleston White was back on the show, man, again. Like I said, I, I think we talked about it last week, but we were running a series of things that him and No Jumper, man. No Jumper, no Jumper came at Charleston. Uh, Charleston didn't say, hey, man, here I am, come at me. You know, they just decided they were going to talk about him. And so uh, Charleston came by and said, hey, man, let's sit down. Let's, let's air it out, man, on why No Jumper, Adam 22, them decided to go in on you. Um, the, the, the AD guy made the statement, say he's going to set you up. What was that all about? I mean. Uh, a nigga in his feelings. <clears throat> I was just about to say. That's exactly what it was. Said. A nigga in his feelings. He got feelings. emotions. Uh, a nigga who don't know me. A nigga who don't know me, and he the reason why I don't like California niggas. They'll go against their own kind. Wow. They created something for black people, right? So do you think he was doing that for? Hold on, hold on, hold on. For? He, he, was, he, was, he, was, he was talking to his, he was talking down to his own kind to a white boy. Yeah, That's homie, the yeah. Crazy part he, about he, it. Listen, he on no jumper, Adam 22. It don't say no jumper, Adam hey. 22, and AD in the crew. His name ain't nowhere on no platform, on this white boy's platform. It's two niggas right there with the white boy. Yeah, I think phone or something. It, it, it's, it's, name, listen, listen, it's two niggas on there with this Pecklewood white boy. And the nigga say, I set him up. Now, I ain't done nothing to this nigga. I don't even know this nigga mad at me. I don't have no clue this nigga mad at me. He ain't said I done something to him. He ain't said I shot his dog. He ain't said I beat up his sister. He didn't say I cussed out his mama. He said I talk shit on the internet. And if he come here, I set him up. It's a nigga in his feelings. <clears throat> That's what he said. And he's saying it to a white man. But look what the boss tell him. Boss tell him, well, nigga, I want to interview the nigga so bad I meet him in Motel 6 by myself without you, nigga. Because this is the Adam 22 No Jumper Show. I ain't going to let you set him up. And, uh, you know, for sure, Crip Mac was the one that ignited the flame. But those guys, man, I love the channel. Now that I've been watching it, hey, 
shout out to uh, Adam22 No Jumper, man. The boy really seriously is on them visuals, and I hadn't really looked into him. So I appreciate Charleston White. I appreciate Crip Mac. But even they, they've been they've been going back and forth. Five Five Crip, you know, uh, uh, Charleston has been saying that if he don't do something immediately, he's going to take and uh, basically going to copyright his name and pretty much uh, hold on to it. Didn't you know his name and until he apologized, you know, Charleston say kind of got on his skin a little bit. So when I started fucking with Crip Mac, I started fucking with him, but saying, "Say nigga, get you a bobblehead." Say, nigga, don't get you some T-shirt. Get you some product. Trying Say, to give him good game. I'm dropping game on a nigga because I'm seeing the numbers he doing. Wasn't nobody giving me the game. No, you just trying to give back, really. So I'm really snarl, nigga. It ain't no reason you ain't supposed to be getting down there $10,000 a month in your numbers. Ain't nobody showing you how to do your intro, your outro to your video. No. You going on all these big platforms. Come on, homie. You better trademark your name. You got three weeks or I'm going to take it from you. I'm going to copy you it. Was that a serious statement? Yeah. You didn't see me call my people? You said you better go on and take his name. Yeah. And go ahead and make the money off of it. No, nah, I'm just going to take it. Just take it to have it and fit, shelf it. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Just and, shelf it. Until they say I'm sorry. Until he say he want to be my friend. <laughs> then you let him come I out. I get back to him. Say, listen, you got a bunch of people around you don't know nothing, C-Mac. Wow. Trademark your name, my nigga. Five Five Crib, trademark that, nigga. Copyright that. Wow. Copyright that, nigga. But Charleston, man, one of the dopest dudes that come on the show. And uh, I like the way that he, uh, uh, I like the way that he uh, pretty much uh, interjects on the things that are going on in his world, man. So very interesting dude to interview. Uh, and just a, a dope dude all together, man. And always helping us re rep the brand and stuff. So shout out to him, man. But yeah, Adam22, man. Yeah, hey, man, we rock with Charleston in Texas, man. And in Atlanta and all the South. Uh, Atlanta, uh, uh, Abernathy, uh, uh, Alabama, uh, Montgomery, wherever, Louisiana, man. That's my guy, man. And I think the South has something to say. I think a lot of times we don't get the just do that we deserve in the South. So that's where I come from with the whole platform. And I know y'all be tripping off of me with this Pimp C spirit. But at the end of the day, I just feel like uh, we all got to be respected for the culture and the way that we bring things from our perspective in each area that we live in. Whether it be New York, whether it be L.A., whether it be uh, down south, uh, it's all the same, man. Shout out to all my people. I love all y'all, man. But anyway, moving on, man, we had uh, my boy, <laughs> Lil Blake. We had uh, Barrio. Them boys came through. And it was just uh, a deal where... They came through, they talked about what it's too live. Like again, two four, we had a two four week this week. They so know Boosie black. Look, to black people It seemed like it's it, gay it, look, it, black people, gay people, that's nothing. You hear me? We can walk through and see gay people. What are we gonna say? Ah, they gay. Right. But in reality they probably cool as fuck. But like if black people, that ain't nothing. Boosie don't see it like it's nothing like gay people, that ain't shit. But but when they when they got the on that panel when they got on that panel, they start bringing up the fact of him being a, a a a straight guy who who be talking down on different situations with with like a gay phobia. No, that, yeah, no, that, 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 that you sat here, like if me and you sat here talked about gay people and we me and you straight, we sit here talking about gay people, it'll be a thing. But like it's black, it's different for black people. You just gotta know people. Like right, nigga don't care. No. nigga gay nigga don't care. No, I think what they were doing, Booster. They were trying to make Booster say, uh, he can't force his kid not not to be straight. He can't tell his kid that they can't be gay. That was they telling him. They saying, yeah, they you can do that. They can do that. Thank you. And black parents, they 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 telling him he can't do it. Black parents, a beat your ass like. But they they telling him he can't do it. Yeah, you can't do. Nah, hell no, he can. They telling him he can't do it. You can't tell a black person no. nothing they can't do with their no, kid. Not at uh, Barrio, uh, we just dropped a series on that. Man, shout out to that boy, Lil Blake, man. He a celebrity in his own way, man. That boy, I love the way that he uh, interviewed, man. And it was just a dope feel to be able to chop it up with him, man. He family, and I just love the way that he get out, man. He's hilarious, man. Uh, very argumentative, too. Um, but, yeah, those guys are dope. Uh, I, I think, you know, when it comes down to what's going on in 
the South, uh, you got to watch those guys, the, the, the YSN uh, Flips, the Barrios, the, the uh, shout out to Kenny B, all these different dudes that you see down here, man. Uh, hey, man, um, hey, even the, the number sevens, the Dun Duns, all of those guys, man, y'all need to tap in what's going on in Dallas now, man. I know Trap Boy Freddy, all these guys, man, Yellow Beezy, he's still around. So everybody that's in the South, man, y'all guys need to tap in and check out what's going on in Dallas, Texas, man, because these boys getting to it, man, and the music's steadily flowing, so check their YouTube. Go in and look at what they do, man, and uh, and, and pay attention to Sean Cotton, too, because he be he always on top of it as well. Shout out to Mogul Media. Shout out to uh, Dallas Global. Shout out to my boy Trill Talk, no pill talk, man. But East Texas, Dallas, Houston, hey, man, the bloggers on site in Dallas, man, and it's going down, man. So, uh, hey, man, you know, when you look at things, man, from from a, 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 a oval perspective, you begin to understand what's going on with Dallas. Holla at you, boy. Uh, yeah, so, man, hey, you know, Anya Monique. Anya Monique came through, man. Uh, she's a new artist, man. Um, I love her spirit, man. She dropped, uh, hey, she, she sung for us, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've been lying for no reason. Your mouth's telling me lies, but your eyes speak the truth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've been lying for no reason. And I'm sick and tired of the things that you do. All right, all right, all right. That's enough I right there, man. It. Hey, I love it. Hey, man. You sound so amazing. No, no, she sound mic. amazing. Yeah. It went down. Anya Monique is one of the uh, newcomers, man. Uh, shout out to her manager. I think it's Dre, man. And just that whole feel that they bring to the table. Uh, those guys are dope. Uh, and, and when you see them, man, in the city, show them love, man. Let them know that you checked in at Boss Talk 101 and you seen what they were doing, man. They working their butt off. And, hey, man, I got to give it to them. They doing their thing, man. And so... Next, you got Bobby Billions. I'm still going through those series with Bobby Billions and Rainwater. Let me ask you this: Do you do you feel like um, do you think if Mo Three was uh, what, do you think Mo Three would approve what you doing the song with Trap Boy? Yeah, I don't think he would occur at all. I don't think he would be on be. Yeah, I, it, it wouldn't have sure. been like it is if he for was sure. living. If he was living, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be none of that extra stuff for sure. For sure, it would. He would, it would have been cool to do that song with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, and I would have for sure and. And I wouldn't have cared who cared. I mean, just like just like now, I just really wouldn't care who cared about nothing. But for sure, I feel like three, three, three was from what I from 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 the times that me and him spoke. Three was solid, a solid dude. You know, that's 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 real. That's that's woman like behavior to be. Ah, uh, I don't want you to. Yeah, you you know, just because you spoke to me, you can't speak to. I don't know. Right? I don't know none of them. Bobby Bills and Rainwater. Rainwater and Bobby Billions have differences. Both of them dope, you know what I mean? Uh, I just be trying to give both perspective because at the end of the day, we just trying to show people, hey man, it's going down. Um, a lot of people don't like what Bobby Billions did, the, the song with Trap Boy and all that. So, and then you got Rainwater who basically, you know, earlier this week, we he even uh, had some text that came out that uh, the text was showing that OG Bobby Billions did holler at him before he went to Empire, which I don't think he ever doubted that. But he just says that he felt like he got it on, he got it out of the mud on his own, you know. And that outside song brought a whole bunch of light to both of those guys. So y'all gotta admit that. Shout out to them boys, man. But them boys did their thing, man. And OG Bobby Billions, he ain't letting up. Uh, shout out to Space Boy as well. Um, Hey, man, I'm just going to be real with you. Next week, be on the lookout, man. We got Ronnie Spencer. This week, we ended the week with Ronetta Spencer. Ronetta Spencer sung that Patti LaBelle, man. It went down. I must have rehearsed my lines a thousand times until I had them memorized. But when I get up the nerve, to tell you the words they never seem to come out right and oh if only you knew how much i do 
I do love you. Shut it down, God. <laughs> so when you start to look at what they bring to the table, that whole family. Renetta Spence is the same one that sang Bar Baby when she was only six years old. So, guys, you gotta understand, that's a that's a dope, dope look, man. But when you look at Ronnie Spencer, who will be on next week, when you start to look at uh, the people that's coming up next week, Strap, uh, is it BGF Strap? Strap will be on there next week. I think BGF Strap, uh, I think it'll be uh, uh, Ronnie Spencer. Um, it, it, hey, man, we got a lot of interviews, a lot. Hey, shout out to that boy, Shardy Lowe Jr. He may pop up next week as well, man. But that's going to be a whole nother can of, hey, you know what, man, a whole lot to unpack. But, yeah, these boys coming through, three stripes, all them guys, man, you about to see them, man. Just stay tuned, stay plugged in, man. Like I said, like and subscribe to our channel if you want to see us keep going, man. We also did a photo shoot this week. I, I had fun with that. You got, you got to see my family, my kids, my son. Uh, my co-host Money Moses, man. So we just doing what we do, man. You guys keep rocking with us, man. Keep showing us love, man. Hey, man, check it. I always say check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, man. Make sure you guys tap in. Holla at your boy. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.